Well, first, I think there's a little bit of perception that PPPs are not happening in any of our markets, right? I mean, from Mauritius to Senegal, down to South Africa, a good chunk of our countries are way ahead in PPP. So Kenya has a PPP. It might be failed today. It's called the Kenya-Uganda Railway Concession, or VR. Mauritius has done roads and ports. Senegal has done PPPs for many, many years. Cameroon has its railway, its national airline, its toll roads in the hands of private sector for many, many years. Ghana has done PPPs. Nigeria has worked on PPPs for many years. So it's a little bit of a misnomer to think that we don't get it from a multi-country standpoint. Uh, the regulation and the laws from a PPP legislation standpoint in most of the countries believe it or not, are pretty standard. They were all done by similar consultants, paid for by the World Bank, and they're all in place five, seven, ten years now. The question we should be asking is, why are we not doing this? Huh? Why are we not doing this fast enough? And I think this might go back to political will, capacity in government, right? Um, educating local businesses to participate. So we sit there waiting for the multinationals of the world from the United States to Japan to show up and drop a bid in our bid box, we don't talk to our local conglomerates about the importance of building a school or hospital or toll road or port in our backyard. We somehow view them with some sort of suspicion. We somehow discount them. That mindset needs to change. Right? It's local first. If we go local first, work with our local investors first, they're there for the long run. They see and use that road transport and power plant or transmission line every day. They're not getting on a plane and running, running away. They're the ones that should be trusted the most in, in delivery. So I would reframe that and accelerate the process. We need to kind of work more closely at the public and private sector. We need to trust more. There's a little bit of, with the regulatory with the regulatory environment, I'm, I'm not going to say it needs to be uh, less or relaxed, but I think it needs to be within context. I mean, look at this latest plastic bag controversy in your my black backyard. Mm -hmm. The amount of regulation around and the implementation around something that is so simple and yet has become so complex, that's what we do every day. So imagine a tenfold around an airport. Right? Yeah. It's a $40,000 four year imprisonment fine. Mm -hmm. Really? Don't we have bigger things to solve? Mm -hmm. Right? And that's what we're doing with regulations. So I think there needs to be better information between public and private sector, a little more trust, mm -hmm. and lots of, lots of willingness to deliver. Mm -hmm. The private sector that comes to the table must be screened to. Is this really the kind of partner that I want, which will be here for generations, right? And will deliver the outcomes. And the public sector needs to demonstrate true political will and held accountable. And unless we do that, we're not going to deliver anything. I come from better dialogue and education and your and and accountability, right? So in some ways, while the private sector is quarterly driven, right? The private sector is quarterly driven. The private sector is not on an infinite schedule, right? Why are the politicians not? They've got to go to the voters in four years as well. Yeah, it should be. It's because they're not held accountable like my shareholders hold me. Mm -hmm. It's if I'm the CEO of a, of a regional company, a local company, a multinational company, I'm accountable to my shareholders, mm -hmm. right? Are our governments accountable to our people? And unless we change that, in the, same, in the same manner as it holds true for the private sector, we're not going to get the intensity. Yeah. Right? I mean, I think CEOs don't wake up and say, I'm great, I'm going to go fast, uh, I'm not held accountable, my shareholder doesn't actually care, I have impunity, but I'll still go fast today. They do it because they're held accountable. They do it because it's their job.